I think everyone can benefit from learning a little bit about music and everyone can benefit from learning a little bit about poetry. Hi, welcome to Sound Bites from Home, a visual podcast featuring students, faculty, and staff from the Department of Performing Arts at American University. I'm your host, Andrew Brown, and today's guest is Grace Hassan, a singer, songwriter, and poet from American. Sometimes you love me, sometimes you don't. Some days the fire burns, some days it won't. You're the only one I always want to hold. When do I, when do I, when do I let go? Can you explain a little bit behind the inspiration and the meaning behind Second Guesser? So I was thinking about, um, I'm someone who's a very big advocate of mental health awareness. And something I've noticed is that most people I know struggle with anxiety. And I am a lover of love songs in every form. And um, one of the things I wanted to focus on was the feeling of falling in love while dealing with anxiety and having someone love you, but you don't, you can't even believe that they love you because of your own mental state. And I really wanted to try to capture that when I first wanted to write it, I wanted it to be a very positive love song, but it definitely took a turn when I wrote it and I rewrote it. The ending was originally a lot more um, peaceful and positive, but then when I worked with um, Josh Bayer, my guitar teacher and um, composition teacher, he told me that I should cut off the ending and it really changed the whole song, but I was really happy with how it changed it actually. I try my best not to believe you want me for me But I called you up crying today And you said I'll stay Sometimes you need me, sometimes you don't Some days you're there, some days you're gone You're the only one who doesn't make me feel alone what do I, what do I, what do I know? And talk a little more about like, you know, the process of songwriting. Like, where does it start for you? Do you get an idea out of nowhere? Is it like months of agonizing over something? Where do the inspirations come from? So I am a poet first. I always lyrics first. I actually have a book into the Orange Grove Poetry oh, nice. Collection. So I'm definitely a writer first. I come up with the lyrics, usually um, most of the song, if not the whole song, lyric wise first and then come up with music. I'm currently trying to learn to do music first and try to um, challenge myself to write more complex music. Mm -hmm. But um, I really was a writer first. That's why I'm a literature major and a music minor, poet first, musician second, but I'm working on becoming more of a um, musician. Obviously, you know, your creative writing does influence your music, but I do want to ask, does any like the music you like study or perform influence your creative writing? Well, I think definitely being a poet, the, one of the huge aspects of being a poet is the sound. I actually was a part of a slam poetry group for a little while. I would also say that sometimes a poem will become a song or a song will become a poem and that sometimes their ideas reflect each other or even an image will come up in one or the other that I didn't realize I wanted to keep writing about. Save me, I'm turned cynical. Sometimes I need you, sometimes I try not to. Sometimes I hate you that I love you. Some days I wish, wishes came true. So as a poet and as a songwriter, you must have certain like poets slash pieces of literature and like songwriters that inspire you. Are there any you'd like to mention? So uh, my mentor, David Keplinger, I read a lot of his poetry. Um, I like to try to read different levels of accessibility when it comes to poetry. So I really like Rupi Carr, though I also like David Keplinger, who's more on the um, deeper side of poetry. So I try to make my book a bit more in the middle where people who don't read poetry will love it. But people who read a lot of poetry will also really like it. I also listen to a lot of different music and a lot of different genres. And I think that that's a better way to be a better songwriter. So one of the questions I want to ask you is, where can people hear your music? So I have Second Guesser on SoundCloud. I'll hopefully put out more in the future. 
but I'm um, still a bit of a beginner to it. Well, Grace, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for an awesome interview. I'm really excited to see how you take off. Thank you.